Welcome to the Philippine Motor Show. This is Autofocus. I'm Ray Louis Gamboa. Here's a menu of some of our features on this edition of your electronic magazine, exclusive to the automobile and its industry. Starting off with reviews of two vehicle models presently in the local market, a compact SUV from Volkswagen, the 2018 Tiguan 280 TSI DSG SE, and a luxury subcompact sedan from Mini, the 2018 1.5-door. We'll also have a glimpse of some of the latest automobile models and concept cars from around the world. We have the 2019 Mercedes-Benz GLC Coupe and the 2020 Porsche Cayenne Coupe. Plus a feature-to-feature -feature comparison of two luxury vans, the Toyota Alphard and the Honda Odyssey. Together with the latest news and developments in the local auto industry, we shall have the recently held Hyundai Reina Test Drive to Rizal as our special feature. The next 60 minutes is all about the automobile. This is Autofocus and we'll be right back after this short break. Designed to get back from any adventure. Every day without fail. Being tough is not enough, so we keep testing in the pursuit of ultimate toughness and reliability. The new Strata, engineered beyond tough. Drive your ambition, Mitsubishi Motors. These are the Fuel Masters. Every time they're on the court, it's high performance. Every time I'm on the road, I can also expect high performance from Phoenix Fuels. We made it! The next generation Phoenix Fuels, now with Pulse Technology, delivers enhanced power and acceleration to make every trip come alive. Suzuki, all new El Tiga. Life is beating fast. Find what you're waiting for. Seven seater in style. All new El Tiga debut. Welcome back to Autofocus, the automobile show. We start this edition of your electronic magazine with a review of one of the latest automobile models from Volkswagen. It seems like Volkswagen Philippines is happily treating their loyal customers and supporters with more affordable yet quality vehicles. One of them is the Volkswagen Tiguan. In this week's first car review, find out more about this stylish car that also comes with a refined powertrain. Watch this. Under the hood of the Tiguan is a 1.4-liter engine that gives out 150 PS of power and 250 newton meter of torque. This engine is made more powerful and more fuel-efficient by Blue Motion technology. The figures are mated to a 6-speed DSG transmission, which combines the convenience of an automatic and the fuel efficiency of a manual. The suspension setup of the Tiguan is made up of a McPherson independent suspension at the front and a multi-link independent suspension at the rear. It's simple and pretty basic, but it does the job through any road imperfections.
The Tiguan's body is highlighted by these character lines that go around the vehicle. It adds an edgy vibe to the car, plus it defines the body. But the detail that further catches anyone's attention is this set of bold scene on headlights with turn signal lights, along with the chrome-plated radiator grille. Moreover, the look of the Tiguan is completed by these roof rails and this panoramic sunroof. The model also sports a set of 18-inch multi-spoke alloy wheels, making it indeed a sight to behold on the road. The elegant and sleek exterior style of the Tiguan no doubt continues on in the interior. Luxury is spelled all over, thanks to the Vienna leather seats material. Moreover, it comes with a leather three-spoke steering wheel. The Tiguan also comes with features that center on added convenience. There's enough cup holders for both passengers in front and at the back, a two-zone climatronic air conditioning with pollen filter, and rear air conditioning vent, and even a front ashtray and a cigarette lighter. So let's talk about space. Even though the Tiguan is a standard five-seater, it doesn't lack in space and legroom. Passengers at the back can enjoy the rear seats folding in a 60-40 split and can move comfortably through road trips in and out of the metro. There's also a luggage compartment with folding cover and an overhead storage compartment in case you need additional cargo space. For its infotainment system, the Tiguan comes with a multifunction display that is available through AM, FM, AUX, MP3, and Bluetooth connectivity, among others. Sound is enjoyable through eight speakers. When it comes to safety and security features, the Tiguan is equipped with a tire pressure monitoring system which checks the tires constantly and maintains the correct tire pressure. It also comes with an electronic stabilization program that takes charge of the detecting of critical driving conditions. Standard features like anti-lock braking system with EBD, hill hold control, and anti-theft system are also present in the Tiguan, among other features. That was the Volkswagen Tiguan, a car that has thrilled car enthusiasts not only because of its affordable price, but also because of its reliable features and engineering. That's it for our car review this week. The latest auto industry news and developments right after this break. Mitsubishi Motors. Motul is the most trusted motor oil of the top teams competing in some of the world's most grueling race competitions. The WRC, the WTCC, and the Japan GT. Motul is the only 100% fully synthetic motor oil in the market. It has antioxidation properties that prevent premature thickening and aging due to thermal stress and guarantees total engine protection. For more information about Motul engine oils, visit www.motul.com.ph. 
or visit Auto Plus Sports Zentrium located along EDSA, across White Plains. Fine dining, a romantic garden wedding, a relaxed casual meal, or an important business event, Illustrado is the place to go. Aside from its famed paella, the Illustrado restaurant, which is located within the history-laden walled city of Intramuros, is also the favorite destination of food gourmands for its famous calios and lengua and other classic gustatory offerings. Illustrado restaurant, only for the foodies. The things that make my day. My mini-me. My kind of jam. My passion. My blend of coffee. My inspiration. That's all good with the all-new Vios. My Vios. My drive. Welcome back to Auto Focus, and now we have the latest auto industry news. Black Rhino Wheels Philippines recently opened its newest outlet store in Paranaque in collaboration with Overland Kings, a new hub for off-roaders, adventure seekers, and outdoor enthusiasts for all their equipment gear. According to Black Rhino Wheels Philippines, the opening of the outlet store in Paranaque is their way of bringing their products closer to customers residing in the area, as well as in Alabang. Additionally, it will also be a channel for customers to purchase older designs of Black Rhino wheels at a discounted price. The store also carries equipment such as vehicle roof racks, portable toilets and refrigerators, outdoor lighting systems, and vehicle-mounted tents and canopies. Concept One and Black Rhino wheels, uh, we are happy to collaborate with uh, Overland Kings to open an outlet store in south of the metro. We are here in, uh, by Merville. And we decided to collaborate to come up with a one-stop shop for people who like off-roading, trailing, or overlanding to get your basic rig set up right away. You can choose to come here to look at the different products. Of course, we come with the basic lift kit, wheels and tires from Black Rhino, Nito, Yokohama, and uh, Safiro tires. And then we also have, uh, of course, our Black Rhino rims, Concept One also. Then we have your camping gear like your roof racks, tents, and basic equipment for overlanding, for glamping as well. The shop is inspired by the growing demand for the off-roading and camping lifestyle of Filipinos. Hence, the outlet store is headed by Mr. Joel Pedro, Chief Adventure Officer of Overland Kings. We like to collaborate with quality brands. And uh, Black Rhino takes us one step further to that dream or to that goal to be able to provide quality things. So the Black Rhino hard alloys is a starting point. Once you set up your rims, once you set up your tires, once you set up your lift, then Adventure Kings, Overland Kings come into play to finish off the overall look of the lifestyle truck. Following the debut of the all-new Mazda 3 at the 2018 Los Angeles Auto Show, Mazda Philippines has officially previewed the new model. This morning event is the review of the 2019 or 2020 all-new Mazda 3. And so we're showing this, the hatchback to the Philippines market, in fact in the region for the first time since the launch in LA. The all-new Mazda 3 features Mazda's more enhanced Kodo design language. The fourth-generation model retains the previous model's exterior details. However, it now features a new grille that houses a bolder set of headlights. Inside the cabin is neat and everything is wrapped in Mazda's trademark leather, giving the interior an elegant touch. This time, uh, we're revealing the product itself to show the public about the design or the new design of the Mazda and the level of quality and the craftsmanship. That's the reason why the cars are here, so that the press can 
have a look at it, go inside and touch and feel. This is a production level car, but at this time we are not yet ready to announce timing on sale or talk about pricing or specification. Now I think the important thing is to understand the new design of the Mazda, uh, especially all the all-new Mazda 3. Although Mazda Philippines is yet to announce more about the all-new Mazda 3 specs and powertrain details, it's stated that the all-new model will either get a Skyactiv-G, which is present in the current Mazda 3, Skyactiv-D, or Skyactiv-X, which combines gasoline spark ignition and diesel compression ignition. The subject of a later announcement when all the markets are ready. At the moment, the car just gone on sale in the US and Europe, and it will roll out to the rest of the world. So the purpose of this reveal is to show an actual car to the public. There's been a lot of news about it. Toyota Motor Philippines has kicked off its hybrid electric vehicle or the HEV Campus Tour Series in partnership with Papua University's Mechanical and Manufacturing Engineering Department. The educational tour coincided with the department's 79th anniversary, making the Toyota Prius and Toyota Prius C units the centerpiece of their engineering week's opening day. The first leg of the HEV Campus Tour, which was held at the Mapua School grounds in Intramuros, Manila, offered both students and faculty a first-hand look on the benefits of HEV technology through a symposium and an all-day test drive activity. A dedicated test drive area also welcomed students for a short route with the Prius C hatchback. Accompanied by a Toyota technical representative to answer their questions, the test drive activity was enjoyed by almost a hundred student drivers. The Auto Hub Group has officially made an announcement that they are the exclusive selling agent of Pagani here in the Philippines. His representatives came to the Philippines in sometime in 2015 looking for a an exclusive selling agent or a representative of Pagani in the Philippines and we were one of the people they interviewed. So from then we were invited to go to Shanghai to take a look at one of his events in a showroom so we went to Shanghai to visit him and uh, that was the first time I met Mr. Pagani in person. And then the month after we immediately went to Modena where the factory is and that's how the, the relationship started. Celebrating this milestone, AutoHub Group brought Pagani himself to Manila. Pagani's visit in the country was timely as it coincided with the 20th anniversary of Pagani's first ever commercial release, the Zonda C12, which debuted at the 1999 Geneva International Motor Show. La Pagani è una compagnia familiare e è nata da zero con un grande, credetemi, con un grande sforzo perché io sono arrivato dall'Argentina che avevo 26 anni con una moglie di 19 anni e soltanto due valigie ma con la illusione, la idea di disegnare e costruire un giorno la mia macchina. E così pian pianino abbiamo ehm, iniziato a lavorare anche per prima con dei lavori molto umili e poi ho cominciato a lavorare come operaio in Lamborghini e ho lavorato quasi nove anni in Lamborghini e, e devo anche moltissimo alla Lamborghini per quello che ha fatto per me nonostante ho cominciato come, come un operaio e, e mantengo un rapporto veramente molto molto bello con questa straordinaria compagnia. Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine, takes another short break. Stay with us, I'll be right back. The things that make my day. My mini-me. My kind of jam. My passion. My blend of coffee. My inspiration. That's all good with the all-new Vios. My Vios. My drive.
tough drive, a luxurious pleasure. Montero Sport, the sophisticated SUV. Drive your ambition, Mitsubishi Motors. Suzuki, all new El Tiga. Life is beating fast. Find what you're waiting for. Seven seater in style. All new El Tiga debut. Motoring Today is now on the web. Watch this episode or other past episodes of the country's longest running motoring program any time of the day by logging on to our website, motoringtoday.ph. Motoring Today is now online. Just the click away. Welcome back to this edition of Autofocus, the country's premier automobile TV and online magazine. Here's Head to Head, our feature-to-feature -feature comparison of the latest automobile models belonging to the same category. In this week's Head to Head, we have two luxury vans that have received a facelift and other additional changes to them. We're talking about the latest generation Toyota Alphard and Honda Odyssey. Find out here what puts them on the list of the most sought-after cars these days. Watch this. Let's first check the oily bits of the Toyota Alphard and the Honda Odyssey. Under the hood of the Alphard is a 3.5-liter V6 engine that gives out 296 PS of power and 361 Nm of torque and is made into an 8-speed automatic transmission. On the other hand, the Odyssey EXV Navi runs on a 2.4-liter DOHC inline 4 engine that produces 175 PS and 226 Nm of torque. This engine is coupled with a continuously variable transmission. For the suspension, it comes with a McPherson strut with stabilizers at the front and a double wishbone with coil springs at the rear. Its suspension setup is composed of a McPherson strut at the front and torsion axle beam at the rear. Let's now take a closer look at the exterior details of our featured cars. For the Alfred, there's a number of exterior details that don't look familiar. Starting with the front fascia, the Alfred comes with a bigger grille and is further highlighted by this new set of headlights. The logo at the front is new as well, and it adds character to the Alfred. Meanwhile, the rear houses this new set of signal lamps, an additional detail that completes the whole look. The Alfred powers through the road with 18-inch alloy wheels. Meanwhile, the same with the Alfred, the exterior of the Odyssey is filled with enhanced details. First, the look is highlighted by Honda's latest design language, which features a new aero bumper that is matched with a new dark front grille. This front design also comes with LED headlights and LED daytime running lights. On the side, the look is highlighted by the 17-inch alloy wheels. It's time to hop into the Alford and Odyssey. As you go inside the Alford, one thing that would easily catch your attention is the leather-clad captain seats with Ottoman. Also, the majority of the Alford's interior is wrapped in a premium wood grain trim complemented by matte chrome and black piano wood inserts. Moreover, if talking about comfort, the Alfred comes with an ample space for legroom for the passengers in the second and third row. Moreover, the Tri-Zone Automatic Climate Control is a staple feature in the Alfred. For the infotainment system, the Alfred is equipped with the standard touchscreen display and navigation. It comes with the standard 2-DIN 8-speaker sound system that is available in AM, FM, CD, DVD, MP3, AUX, USB, and Bluetooth connectivity, among others. Meanwhile, inside the Odyssey, the Captain Cradle seats with Ottoman will also catch your attention in a sense that it looks so elegant. Everything else is wrapped in leather upholstery as well, providing added comfort to the driver and passengers. The second row seats are kit with long sliding, reclined with articulating backrest, and while the third row, you'll find three-person individual reclined with three pieces of headrest. Adding highlight to the interior of the Odyssey, it's an infotainment system that is composed of 7-inch touchscreen display audio with navigation that offers Bluetooth, an HDMI port, USB in connectivity, and has six speakers. To top it off, a 9-inch rear entertainment system with an HDMI port and DVD and your setup for any road trip. 
When it comes to safety and security, both the Alfred and the Odyssey come with necessary features. The Alfred is equipped with 7 airbags, Hill Start Assist, Vehicle Stability Control, and Anti-Lock Braking System, among other features. On the other hand, the Odyssey comes with additional technology safety features on top of Honda's standard ones. It includes Smart Parking Assist System with new sensor-based back-in, parallel-in, and parallel-out feature, multi-view camera system with dynamic guidelines, and the cross-traffic monitor blind spot information. Toyota Alphard and Honda Odyssey, two cars that prove that changes should always be welcome. Whichever you go for, know that it's a good choice. That's it for our head-to-head -head this week. More about the automobile here on Autofocus as we usher in our segment featuring the autos of the world, spotlighting concept cars as well as newly launched and about to be launched automobile models from around the world. For your exciting viewing on this edition of your Automobile Electronic Magazine, we have the 2019 Mercedes-Benz GLC Coupe. Let's watch this. Just a few weeks after unveiling the GLC SUV, Mercedes-Benz is presenting the redesigned GLC Coupe. The next generation of the successful model skillfully and intricately combines the sportiness of a coupe with the functionality of an SUV. The result is a vehicle for individuals who seek a vehicle with extraordinary looks. The greatest possible freedom and pioneering technology, innovative technologies, intelligent driver assistance systems, and a newly enhanced engine make the coupe a paragon of sportiness, safety, and efficiency. The redesigned GLC Coupe will celebrate its world premiere at the New York International Auto Show in April and will go on sale in the U.S. by late 2019. The GLC Coupe impresses with its distinctive appearance, innovative driver assistance systems, a new engine, and the latest generation of the MDUX. Mercedes-Benz user experience, multimedia system with its wide range of control options. The enhanced driver assistance systems have been expanded to include the new exit warning function. The GLC Coupe is characterized by its dynamic appearance and elegant lines. Hallmark features include the dominant front end, powerful forms, and standard fit chrome details like the front and rear under-eye guards. Its coupe character shines through in the squat silhouette with the dropping roofline and rounded rear window. Highlights at the front end include the powerfully contoured diamond block grille with an integrated star and single louvre typical of a coupe, complemented by the distinctive air intakes and the new contours of the standard LED headlamps. At market launch, the GLC coupe will be available with a new and enhanced 2.0 liter inline four turbo engine capable of 255 horsepower and 273 pounds per feet of torque. Designed to get back from any adventure. Every day without fail. Being tough is not enough, so we keep testing. In the pursuit of ultimate toughness and reliability. The new Strata, engineered beyond tough. Drive your ambition, Mitsubishi Motors.
These are the Fuel Masters. Every time they're on the court, it's high performance. Every time I'm on the road, I can also expect high performance from Phoenix Fuels. We made it! The next generation Phoenix Fuels, now with Pulse Technology, delivers enhanced power and acceleration to make every trip come alive. Make the tough drive a luxurious pleasure. Montero Sport, the sophisticated SUV. Drive your ambition, Mitsubishi Motors. Welcome back to Autofocus. Our special feature is next. Upon the arrival of the all-new Hyundai Reina to the Philippine market, Hyundai Asia Resources Inc. or HATI was quick on its feet to further showcase the new model's power and capabilities through a media test drive. HATI took 35 select members of the motoring media to a test drive activity aboard the all-new Reina. The group started a fun journey from Metro Manila, traversing the challenging roads of Marilakika Imta and all the way uphill to the scenic views of Pililia Wind Farms. We are now ruling the roads of Pinilla, and I tell you, after the end of the test drive, the results were just so amazing and impressive at the same time, given that it has been, I would say, the right one, the right choice as a first car buyer and, of course, as the most, I would say, affordable but commandable car available in the country. Hadi had only one goal in bringing their media friends to this fun adventure, and that is to highlight the reliability of the all-new Reina when it comes to its powertrain and its advanced features. As Hadi would say, the all-new Reina wants nothing but to hashtag be the right one for their Filipino customers. Speaking of the all-new Reina's powertrains, it runs on a 1.4-liter gasoline engine that gives out 95 PS of power with either a 5-speed manual transmission or a 4-speed automatic transmission. The Reina offers convenient driving experience whether it's through a smooth road or ones that ought to challenge a driver. The all-new Reina also comes in Hyundai's Fluidic Sculpture 2.0 design DNA that gives it urban elegance reminiscent of the Hyundai Modern Premium pedigree. Inside, there's enough space for five that allows them to be comfortable throughout the ride. Add to this the Reina's generous trunk space that can store up to 475 liters of cargo. Also, the all-new Reina may seem as a practical everyday car, but it comes equipped with important safety features that you don't usually find in most subcompact cars. It's equipped with dual airbags that provide significant occupant protection for both driver and front passenger, and an anti-lock braking system that lets the driver have better control of driving maneuvers during slippery road conditions. By the end of the test drive activities, the all-new Hyundai Reina has proven to be a car that has the right elements of design, convenience, space, performance, and safety to bring excitement to its Filipino customers.
And up next is another exciting feature on Autos of the World, this time around the 2020 Porsche Cayenne Coupe. Let's watch this. Porsche is extending the Cayenne model line to include a new coupe body style. Revised design proportions give the new Cayenne coupe models a more athletic appearance. The current Cayenne Turbo was the first SUV to feature an adaptive roof spoiler, a concept the new Cayenne Coupe adopts and adapts to the new design. Each Cayenne Coupe model features both a roof spoiler and a new adaptive rear spoiler as part of Porsche Active Aerodynamics. The spoiler extends by 5.3 inches above speeds of 56 miles per hour, increasing downforce to the rear axle. The new Cayenne Coupe comes with a large panoramic fixed glass roof as standard to create a sense of space. To protect occupants against sun exposure, there is also an integrated sunshade. For the first time, the Cayenne model line is also available with a carbon fiber roof as an option offered exclusively to the Coupe models. This option is available in one of the three lightweight sports packages. These packages also include the sport design features and new weighted reduced 22-inch GT design wheels fabric seat centers in Pepita, and carbon fiber and Alcantara accents in the interior. For the Cayenne Turbo Coupe, the package also includes a sport exhaust system. All Cayenne Coupe models will come with the Sport Chrono package as standard equipment. Two high-performance engines are available at market launch. The Cayenne Coupe features the same 3.0-liter monoturbo V6 as the standard Cayenne, generating 335 horsepower and maximum torque of 332 pounds per feet. It achieves the 0 to 60 mph sprint in 5.7 seconds, or 5.6 seconds with the optional lightweight sports packages. The vehicle's top speed is 151 miles per hour. The top of the range Cayenne Turbo Coupe uses a 4.0 liter twin turbo V8 producing 541 horsepower and 567 pounds per feet of torque. It accelerates from a standing start of 60 miles per hour in 3.7 seconds and has a top speed of 178 miles per hour. Mitsubishi Expander. Ah, the things that make my day. My mini me, my kind of jam. My passion, my blend of coffee. My inspiration. It's all good with the all-new Vios. My Vios. My drive. Suzuki, all new El Tiga. Life is beating fast. Find what you're waiting for. Waiting for. 
seven-seater in style. All new El Tiga debut. Welcome back. We have more cars for you to know and appreciate here in Autofocus as we have our second car review this week. Mini has been an iconic hatchback ever since it entered the market a long time ago. And as if it's not stylish enough, it offers more doors and more space packed in one variant. In this week's second car review, we have the Mini 1 5 door. Watch this. Let's start with the oily bits. The Mini 1 5 door is powered by a 1.2 liter DOHC 12 valve inline 3 twin power turbo that gives out 102 horsepower and 180 newton meters of torque. These impressive numbers are coupled with a six speed automatic transmission that provides fuel efficiency. On the road, the 5 door provides a smooth ride. Although Mini can do better with the suspension, as it is a bit stiff. But compared to the other cars in the brand's lineup, the five-door suspension is slightly softer and more manageable, especially if it's a city drive. It's time to check out the exterior. The exterior of the car is a nod to its classic origin. With its tiny body size of 3,850 millimeters by 1,727 millimeters, by 1,414 millimeters, it can go by to saying small but terrible. And even though it looks almost exactly the same as the other mini hatchbacks, one can still point out the freshness of the five door. The recognizable LED lights, fog lights, and daytime running lights make the five door a sight to see on the road. Add the 15 inch alloy wheels into the picture and you're ready to go. Now let's hop inside the five door. Just like the exterior, the interior of the five door is also identical to its mates. Inside, it is a mix of fabric and soft touch materials with black accents. Moreover, there's always that classic red switch that signifies that the car is ready to start is also an added treat. For the seats, Mini did a good job making the five-door comfortable for the passengers even though it has limited space. It also offers a considerable amount of space for the cargo. With the rear seats propped up, the five-door can carry 278 liters of stuff. Fold the 60 by 40 split rear seats and it can carry up to 940 liters of cargo. Not bad for such a tiny hatchback. But more than the sleek interior, what highlights the inside of the one five-door is its infotainment system. It is equipped with an onboard computer that supports AM, FM radio, USB, aux, and Bluetooth connectivity. It also offers tire pressure monitoring system, plus an engine oil level and quality checker. It can also be specified with navigation and mini connected services. When it comes to safety and security, the five door kind of lacks the standard features, though it is equipped with electronic door locks, security alarm, and ISO fix. For added convenience, the five door comes with cruise control, rear parking sensors, power steering, power windows, and steering wheel audio control. That was the Mini 1 5-door. 
one of our featured vehicles in this week's car review. And that's Autofocus this week. And on behalf of my dad, Butch Gamboa, we hope you have found this edition of your Automobile Electronic Magazine informative as well as entertaining. You can check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. Until the next time, this has been Ray Louis Gamboa.